Good morning. This is Miss D at D Special Things. I just wanted to do a video. First of all, I wanted to do show you what I received from um, Silver Dawn in Texas. We did a one-on-one -on -one swap in December. And you'll have to excuse my furnace because it's going to keep coming on because we have Arctic cold weather here. But anyway, I want to show you a few things that she sent me and I already opened them because when I got the package um, which was um, I think it was Christmas yeah I think a day before Christmas I wasn't able to do the uh, video but this is would you look at this how cute is that look how big I mean look how absolutely big this bottle cap is and on it it says if you can see that it says D special things how cute is that she wrote D special things did a little banner on there she put one of the Julie Nutting dolls on it how cute is that now, I'm going to show you in comparison how big these this um, bottle cap is if I was shopping I would actually go out and look for this. I think she said she got it from General Dollar. But if she did, maybe they always sell it. So by the time I go shopping. But if you look in comparison to, let me see, the largest one that I have. Let's see here. Let me find a large one. This is a large one. They're actually stuck together here. Oops, so I can't pull them. Uh, okay, this is the largest bottle cap that I have. Would you look at that? Look at the size. Yeah. So, and I think this is about four inches. This one is about three and a half inches. This one that she sent me is over seven inches. Huge, huh? So I'm going to have to look for these when I do go out and shop. Um, as far as the shopping deal, I'm not shopping because uh, when I show you all my room, you all will understand. And that was a choice of mine. Whenever at the beginning of the year, I think we all do the, okay, I'm going to cut back on shopping and stuff. And I think it's like a scrapbooker's resolution. Yeah, some of them stick with it. Some of them don't. I'm not doing resolutions this year, but my choice to not buy and I say buy so much I said I was going to try to do it every 90 days if I need something or okay just know Tim Holtz is always on my on my list of things to buy so everything uh, excludes his products <laughs> I'm just saying okay but I'm finding and I found over the last two years with Tim Holtz I can buy his stuff in quarters and I find that I get a better deal if I do that because then it's in the stores and I could get stuff for like half the price. Or if I wait until, you know, Sizzix or someone have a sale, I can get it for even cheaper than that. So I'm not concerned really about uh, buying a whole lot because honestly, I have quite a bit. And the new products... Um, yeah, there will always be new products, but it's always similar to something I have. And then, um, last year I found out about the cubes. Uh, not the cubes. They are called AT Blocks. And uh, Don actually bought the, what is it, the dye to make these. Isn't that cute? This hangs and she has three of them connected together. You can see. And she made all the little embellishments on it. Look at there. She even made the little resin pieces. If you can see that. Yeah. And it hangs like this. Hangs up. So I'm going to find a place in my room to hang her. Well mine. To hang this. And it's going to be so pretty. Yeah. 
because she, she did such a great job. One is sewing, one is a Paris theme, and the other one is kind of travel, journey, steampunkish. Yeah, so that is really cute, great idea. And then she sent, and I'm going to show you these at the same time, she made some hearts, which was right on time, and they're pockets. Aren't these cute? And in each pocket they have a some little let's see these are cute these little bags yeah they have little tassels in them and this look like Christmas colors I could put those in my Christmas bunch of stuff and these are pink different colors of pink so I can put those in my Valentine's Day stuff and use that and they each came in these little bags, which I have. Let me see if that is the same um, thing that she used. I think she used this die to make the bags. Cute, huh? Yeah. So, and then she sent me some little, what are these? The pearl beads? Yeah, that makes the candy stripes. Some of them do. Some of them are solid. So, yeah. Um... And then she has a black one. Isn't this cute? Look how cute that is. It hangs up. I'm going to hang this. Where? I'm going to hang it somewhere in my room. This is really cute. I'll make some of these. I'll make some myself. I think these will make cute little gifts. Especially for um, Valentine's Day. And I'm looking for uh, things to do for Valentine's Day. So yeah. And the big bow. Isn't that cute? And she said she had a die for this bow. Really cute, huh? And she sent me a set of those. A set of those bows. And I'm over here because I have to pick this stuff out. She sent me a set of those bows on this little card that she embossed. That's cute. Those are some cute little bows. I have to find something to put those on. And then she made me a paintbrush, and I'm, I am going to hang this by my other paintbrush. I did a paintbrush swap, and it says D's Garden, if you can see that right there. How cute is this? But how cute? Can you see that? How cute is that? <laughs> the whole thing. She did a great job with this. So I am going to hang this with, and this she painted, it looks like green. It looks like grass. That's really, really cute. So I'm going to hang that right next to my other paintbrush. And she also made a butterfly. And she connected them, the wings together. She connected the butterflies together. And how cute is that? Can you see it? Yeah, it's embossed. And it's connected. She came out with some really great little projects here. Yeah, so this is the butterfly and it, it hangs like this. Yeah, so I'll find somewhere in my room to put that. And um, she also sent me a recipe book that she makes out of, what is that? Um, the duct tape. Yeah. And it's a mason jar. And it has little mason jar clips. How cute. And if you can see here, it has little tags on the end. And yeah, each one has, how cute is that? Can you see that? I don't think I showed it clearly. Let me see if I could come up some. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Cute, isn't it? And each one of them have one of the clips on it. Yeah. And they have um, the tea bag kind of deco. Cute, 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 huh? Yeah. Each one of them have little recipe cards in them. Slide in there. This has a strawberry on it. Cute, huh? And it is made out of 
duct tape, but the pages are also made with felt and paper. That's cute, huh? Yeah, so that's her swap for me. For, for me. She also sent me a pocket full of little felt goodies to use. And let's see what's in here. She sent me oh, a, a Christmas ornament. Cute, huh? That could be used as a tag. But yeah, that was her um, swap to me. And I'm trying to do this, all of these right now because I have not had time to do swaps that I did with people. I also did a swap with Sarah and we did AT blocks. Um, I did her an AT block and an AT tag. And this was Christmas time. This is what she did for me. I wanted, uh, I was really expecting one of her art dolls, but I guess she misunderstood. I don't know, but this is the one that she made for me. So I'll be making my own little art doll. Yeah, that's really cute. She used a lot of images that she colored. Yeah. And I could use this next year. I'll put it, as a matter of fact, I made one. Oh, I still have it sitting around. So I'll put this away until next year and display it. And she made me, let's see. Let me make sure I have all of her stuff. Oh, that's something. A little ornament for the tree. Ah, look at the card. The card is really cute. I think I've seen open me. Oh, she sent me a little note. Isn't that something? I am just opening her present. I'll have to read. Let me look at the note at least. I'll have to read the little note. Oh, okay. This is about something. Here's an art doll ATV, I think. Yeah. See, she put it, the image on there. I thought it was going to be actually be one of her art dolls, but that's okay. Um, I'll make my own little art doll. But that is what she sent me. Um, an ATB art doll. And, let's see here. Oh, these are wings, angel wings. Okay, I might have to. She sent me a, a tree ornament. And sorry for the crinkling because I have not had time. Oh, how cute. Now, this is like the art doll I thought she was going to send me. But she sent me an ornament. So, that's good. That's a little art doll. How cute is that? That's really cute. A little ornament for the tree. Okay. Um, and let's see. Oh, here's something else in the box. And this is what the note is about. She said that she had this in her room years ago. And which was a great friend. So she thought she would give it to me. And it's like ceramics. I know I used to do ceramics years ago. How cute is that? How cute is that? Oh, it's a candle. Look at there. Is it a candle? Yes, it is. A candle holder. I wonder if she made this. It looks like she could have made this. Oh, that's what the wings are for. How cute is this? Oh, would you look at there? And you hook that onto there. And it's Angel. Well, how cute. Now, I could leave this sitting in my room all the time. Okay, she found a new home, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thanks for the swap. And sorry, I really apologize for not... Um, having time to do uh, the swaps that I entered. I think I have them all. I have one more. It was the 12 Days of Christmas. Um, I did with, what's her name? Uh, Debbie, yes, on Ink the Edges. And as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to do your video. And I'll probably do it with the videos that I'm doing um, this weekend because I am going to have fun. I am playing with Valentine's stuff are I am actually scrapping my stash so let me show you 
what I, I showed you tags that I made last week okay I decorated them but I figured instead of stamping on them you can actually write on them since these are chalkboard tags you can write on that one I just decorated them and you can put to and from on it or you can just and I just use I actually use chalk and you can actually just write uh, two on there and put who you to who and uh, yeah or you can write it this way that way but it comes off and I wiped one of them off with a cloth earlier and it actually does limit this is kind of damp you could clean it up so it does come off yeah so those are the tags that I made didn't want to put a lot of stuff on it you can see what I used um, the stuff that I used on each of them these are wild orchid craft ornament uh, embellishments and these are just a bunch of embellishments that I had laying around and I also did some with cork and they are the these are the Michaels little chalk boards yeah and they're the wooden chalk boards so you could do the same thing with those and I'll probably decorate those up using the stamps this time and come back and show you what those look like but before I leave I also wanted to show you a Valentine's swap doodaddy that I made last year and I first saw this um bona yeah live love scrap made some valentine's cards using just burlap and cardstock and the corrugated cardstock and stuff and i liked it so i decided to make one but before i get started these these um atcs i actually want mine to be permanent in this in this case right here so i uh, adhered mine to this ATC display board that I purchased from Michaels. I think it's by Art Minds, and the board is super cheap. It uh, it costs about I don't know how much it costs. I think it was only four ninety nine, but of course I use my um, I use my coupon got them for 250 and I just went about four or five days and collected about four or five of them because I like them but this is the completed ATC you can't see that can you let me move this up I don't want you to see all of my mess because I have a big mess in here but I am so determined to get some crafting done this weekend so just bear with me there you are that is all of the ATC's that I did and this is on a hanger so it hangs on I didn't do anything to the back because it hangs on the wall this is keepsake decor that's who this is by and it is from Michaels though it's a printer's tray that's what it is and there you are yeah, so I did finish that. I want, to, want you to see all of them. So I'm going to turn it around like this. And I know it's backwards. Yeah. So there you are. That's a couple of the projects that I did. So today, um, I'm actually going to do some crafting and stuff. So you got to come back and see what I did. And I'm using my stash. So I collected up a bunch of stuff in my craft room. Um, that I purchased over, you know, whenever, over my years of crafting. And some may be as late as last year's stuff, and some may be even older than that. I'm going to show you what I found, then I'll make something and come back and show you what I made. I am watching a lot of videos. A lot of, uh, like I said before, a lot of people are uh, doing the spin less or scrap your stash or whatever they're doing um 
Yeah, so I'm actually, and then those that are shopping, I'm actually looking at what they purchase. And if I have it in my room, I'll make something using what I have in my room already. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, and I'm also working on one more swap that I have that, I've, uh, that I didn't do uh, last year. We were going to do it in December. So we're doing it this month. And, um, yeah, that's the only swap I'll be doing now because of work and because my daughter's leaving because I have very little time right now. So the only swap that I, I haven't committed to any other swaps this year. And I probably won't for a little while because I want to get situated first and I want to organize. So, yeah. Anyway, I will be back with some projects today i had to go out of town yesterday so i didn't get any crafting done but yeah i'm kind of i kind of want to make up for uh, the busy days i've had over the last couple of weeks because of work i want to craft now so come back and see what i do okay thanks everyone thanks for watching talk to you later and happy crafting bye bye